Recently, the Catalan and Basque people have been asking for independence for many years, and their national movements are just at a crossroads. There are many similarities and differences between the two ethnicities' desires for independence. I'm also going to explain their justification for independence, since most of these things can be highly debatable. I know that these autonomous regions should be part of Spain, and the loss of these autonomous regions would be detri detrimental to Spain and Spanish interests. First, let's reflect on the origins and existence of these respective groups. The Catalans have their origins when the region was conquered by the Frankish, Frankish kingdom by Charlemagne, in which they were also brought to existence. They were considered the Spanish March. Later, the region gained independence from France. In about 1137, the region united with the King of Kingdom of Aragon when Ramon Berenguer IV, Count of Barcelona, and Petronilla of Aragon married each other. The Catalans are known to ha for having the first active parliament in Europe, which started about 1283. In about 1479, Aragon was united with Castilla to form modern-day Spain with the marriage of Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabella of Castile. It has been known and testified that the Catalans lost their sense of autonomy when the Nueva Planta decrees were signed by Philip V, Duke of Anjou, during 1707. It was when these institutions, their institutions were severed in the Catalan language as well. During the 18th and 19th centuries, Catalonia flourished during the Industrial Revolution and trade with the Americas. Autonomy was lost again during the 20th century during the Franco dictatorship, and their language was manned again. The Basque people were another story. They are the oldest living Europeans in the continent and have survived countless invasions from the Indo-Europeans to the Islamic invasions. Their language is also one of the oldest and unrelated to many European languages. Their history of having a sovereign state with institutions dates back to the creation of the Kingdom of the Var of 824, when Basque chieftain Inigo, Inigo Erista took power and rebelled against the Franks. Navarre used to have a medium-sized territory when it, until it was subsequently partitioned in two different areas in France, and most importantly, Castille. These partitions ended in the 1200s. Then, Navarre was officially incorporated into Spain during the conquest of Navarre. Navarre was also partitioned between Spain and France, and the title of King, the King of Navarre was imported to France as well. There has not been any evidence when Basque autonomy was lost. Like the Catalan people, the Basque language was ma marginalized during the Franco dictatorship. The Basque Autonomous Region was created in December 29, 1978, during the ratification of the Statute of Autonomy of the Basque Country. The new Autonomous Region did not include Navarre. In truth, the t cases of which autonomy is justified for each nation is quite debatable. The Catalans incorrectly assert that they lost their independence during the War of Spanish Secession, acting like they were a nation. However, this is wrong because the Catalans were already part of Aragon in 1137. The Catalan people had their sovereign nation for only a century. They need to learn that they lost their autonomy and not independence, in which there are two different words. Literally, the Catalan people came into existence after the invasion of the region by Charlemagne during the 900s. The Basques can trace their history back to pre-Indo-European times, so they have always been an independent ethnic group. The only part of the Basque people that were independent was the Kingdom of Navarre. Therefore, they have always been a part of Spanish society outside of Navarre. Both groups have innumerable contributions to the Spanish state. These independence movements are useless and do not need to happen. These movements are detrimental to modern-day Spain. King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella have worked to unite modern-day Spain. The country tries to be of a melting pot of all Iberian-based cultures except Portugal. The country has an advanced system of giving autonomy to all of its regions. The system is called an asymmetric federation, 
in which the Madrid government has given a lot of autonomy to both the Catalan, giving gives varying degrees of different regions of autonomy. The Madrid government has given a lot of autonomy to both the Catalan and Basque nations. The Statute of Autonomy in Catalonia was granted in 1979 and revised in 2006. The Basque country was also granted their autonomy in 1979. What the Madrid government should do is decentralize into a federation similar to Germany. A multicultural state like Spain should be a federation. A unitary government would never work for Spain. Both Catalonia and the Basque country need need to build up their institutions within their nations. Both nations need to learn that they are historic nationalities within Spain and try to be happy with the autonomy that they were given with, with the federation in place. There should be a law that no region unilaterally has the right to secede. Lastly, the loss of the Catalan and Basque regions would be detrimental to Spanish culture itself. Barcelona is a part of Spain and is truly the second city of Spain. The Sagrada Familia is also an integral part of Spanish culture and pride. The Count of Barcelona is an integral part of the Spanish monarchy as well. The Basques were expert seafarers and supplied their ships, manpower, and leaders to, for the conquest of the New world, world. I mean, They also led the Industrial Revolution and Basque influence is found in rich families, male leadership, ship captains, important merchants, and relig religious leaders. Losing these autonomous regions is catastrophic since it is losing an important part of Spanish culture, integrity, and heritage.